A day after electoral bonds data was made public by the Election Commission, the Supreme Court has reprimanded the SBI for incomplete disclosure, demanding full disclosure, the unique ID numbers for each electoral bond, emphasizing the importance of IDs in linking donors to recipients. The court has insisted on full compliance with the judgment. Next hearing is now scheduled on Monday in this matter. Remember, bonds data published so far have revealed that BJP received the biggest share of donations getting 47% of the total money, which amounts to nearly 6,061 crores. TMC has come next in the line, followed by the Indian National Congress, then the BRS, and then Biju Janta Dal. Data has also revealed major donors to political parties include companies like Future, Future Gaming Group, Mega Engineering and Infrastructure, Quick Supply Chain Private Limited, Vedanta Limited, among many others. They collectively donated 16,518 crores with Future Gaming itself, leading with 1,368 crores. Siddharth Zarabi, who is with us for more on that. Siddharth, you've covered corporate India for decades. Will this provide clean funding? What is the feedback that you get from corporate India over this electoral bonds case? Well, very clearly, uh, nobody from Corporate India would perhaps go on record on this. But remember, over the years that we have come to this point and the introduction of uh, corporate bonds, in the past, people uh, in Corporate India have reacted positively to bonds. The primary reason was that companies also have come under pressure for election funding. And that's a reality that all of us know. Compare this situation where there is at least some way of uh, official transaction versus a transaction where you have no trail and that is the entire black economy debate. And I think as far as corporate India is concerned, there would be some concerns. Now remember, there are uh, 18, at least 18 registered electoral trusts as of last details available a couple of years back uh, with the Election Commission of India. Some of those trusts are, in fact, uh, trusts of trusts where many companies root their electoral funding through those trusts. That system is there. Some of these trusts actually declare every single rupee that they uh, give the money to, including the names of the parties that they receive this uh, in. And therefore, there are different levels of disclosure that are already being maintained. But the larger question is that if... This system uh, has lacuna and the court uh, has said what it has said in its own wisdom. The larger question that people in the corporate fraternity would be asking is, what now? What replaces this?